Hey everybody, Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and I've got a new unboxing video for you today. Uh, the product that we're focusing on in this unboxing is Adaball's brand new and highly anticipated Velocity 1-4 Variable Power Rifle Scope. Uh, so, just to give you a little background information, uh, this scope comes in at just under $600, where most other scopes in this category are at least $1,000 or more. Uh, Japanese glass, Japanese build, very, very high quality. Uh, so let's go ahead, pop this new optic open, and see exactly what we're working with. Here we go. Comes in a nice white box, nothing too crazy, not fancy or anything, but who cares, it's a box. Alright, and when we open it up, we see that we've got a cleaning cloth, we've got a screwdriver, we've got a battery, and this is a CR2032 battery. There we go, CR2032 battery. All right. Now, moving on, let's go ahead and get this opened up all the way. All right. So check this beauty out, everybody. We've got the Adamal 1 to 4 Velocity Rifle Scope. Made in Japan just so you can see that up close. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and run through a couple of the um, features and specifications of this scope itself, um, so that way you can learn a little bit more about it. And we're gonna go ahead and start by taking off the lens caps here for us. All right, so those are off. Nice feeling scope. Got a little diopter up front here. Not too loose, not too tight. We've got our magnification control here. Not too loose, not too tight. We've got our turrets here, low profile turret. And then we do have the ability to use an illuminated crosshair, illuminated reticle. So let me go ahead, I'll, I'll just give you a quick rundown here of a list of specifications and features. So to start off with, obviously this is a one to four variable power scope. So your magnification levels range from one magnification up to four and anything in between, depending on where you have that set. Now, the objective lens diameter here is a 24 millimeter. Now, eye relief is measured at 4.8 inches. Uh, so, you know, your distance, you'd have to be away from the actual lens here to get a clear picture. Um, that can vary, um, so I'll go ahead and test that out once I get it on a rifle for us. Your field of view can range anywhere from 27.5 to 63 feet at 100 meters, depending on where your magnification is at. Now, probably one of the most important things to keep in mind for when you're getting ready to buy your Velocity 1 to 4 is what kind of mount you should get for it. And this is a 30 millimeter tube for this optic. So be aware, 30 millimeter tube. So when you're searching for a mount, make sure you get the 30 millimeter one and not the one inch one. Um, again, we got low profile style turret caps. Um, let's take one of these caps off here just so we can take a look at what's under the hood. All right, we got the cap there. Let's get you zoomed in on this. As you can see, the turrets look nice. We've got an audible click. every time we turn that turret and it looks like each time you adjust the turret that's going to account for a half minute of angle so a half MOA per click you've got a total elevation adjustment of 120 MOA and you've got a max windage adjustment of 120 MOA so plenty of room to work with for getting that reticle sighted in or resighting depending on the distance of your target um, when you're looking at the weight, the weight comes in at about 18 ounces with no mount. So with no mount or anything else on it, we're looking at about an 18 ounce optic in terms of weight. From end to end, we're looking at 10 and a quarter inches total length. 
And looks like the body, the housing here of the Optic is made out of 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. So we've got some nice materials here on this Attaball 1 to 4 velocity Optic. Let's go ahead and just get into a few of the features that, that you get with this Optic as well. So obviously when it comes to Attaball as a company, they always have their lifetime warranty that they provide on their optics. So obviously the, uh, the Velocity 1 to 4 is no different. That does have a lifetime warranty on it. It is a front focal plane reticle. It's red illumination capable. So you have a red illumination you can use with the free floating crosshair. So the whole crosshair itself, the whole reticle doesn't light up. It's just the actual crosshair section that will. Um, we'll have seven different brightness settings. As you can see here, this is your adjustment knob for those different settings. And then in terms of making sure that illumination works, it looks like the battery, if I've got this right, yep, looks like the battery will just go into this little cap here. Yep, so I'll go ahead and I'll put the battery in there for us in just a few moments when we're looking at that a little bit further. Now, the lenses themselves, and I don't know how much you'll be able to see the lens um, just holding it here like this on both ends, um, but the lenses are multi-coated and they provide over 95% light transmission. So a lot of your higher end name optics companies, you know, your Night Forces, US Optics, etc., etc., uh, Nikon, you know, they'll all use Japanese glass because of that light transmission capability. Uh, some of the cleanest glass in the world, if not the cleanest glass in the world, comes from Japan. Um, if you take a look here also, the, uh, the lenses are coated with a UV curable hard coat. So it's much more scratch resistant than most of the UV coatings um, that are commercially available these days. So you're getting yourself some real nice materials here, lenses, the, uh, the body of the optic, the optic itself, everything put together is made with high quality materials. Something to keep in mind is that this is waterproof without your uh, windage and elevation caps on. So even if your caps were off of here, you'd still be a waterproof, water resistant type optic. It's also a shock proof optic and fog proof optic. So if you bang it around a little bit, you shouldn't have to worry about it, you know, losing zero or anything along those lines. And it is purged to prevent any sort of fog from building up. So one of the things that we're gonna have to do to make sure that illumination works is take off the cap here Here we go. So we've got our CR2032 battery. We're going to go ahead and put that into the optic and make sure that illumination works. The battery's in. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right, everybody. So just to give you another look at the illumination settings here, we've got... No illumination. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The brightest illumination setting. And we'll go ahead and flip back to zero. And that was on the four power setting. 4 power against a uh, dark background here on the lowest illumination setting. 4 power, lowest illumination setting, number 1. There you go. And what I'm going to do next here is continuously show you what the, uh, what the magnification looks like at each upcoming next level. So I'll go ahead and, and let you know which one we're at, just so you know. Alright, so this is at our 1.5 setting one and a half. This is at our two setting. Number two. There we are. This is at the two and a half setting. So two and a half. This is at our three setting. Three. Three and a half magnification. Three and a half. Alright, and this is at the four magnification. So four, this is four magnification right now with the illuminated reticle on. All 
All right, everybody. So uh, all things considered here, I think Adaball has produced a fantastic freaking optic for us. Um, you know, just looking at a few basic considerations. You know, the build quality is there. It's very, very nice. Very well built. The lenses are crystal clear. Um, are they Night Force or, you know, U.S. Optics good? Eh, I don't know. I'll compare them side to side and we'll see. Uh, but I sure as hell can guarantee you that there's not going to be a $1,500 or $2,000 difference between the uh, quality of these lenses and the quality in those other optics. Um, when I'm looking at a few other things here, uh, the illumination. The illumination makes sense. Uh, each and every one of those settings, you can see that there's a difference in the illumination. None of them are the exact same. Also, in addition to that, the magnification makes sense. Um, you've got your magnification values written on the body of the scope, so that's nice. Um, the only other thing I really wish I, I would have maybe had with this is a um, one of the little levers for making turning the, uh, the mag magnification, you know, a little faster, a little easier when you're, you know, in competition. So... Uh, that's the only thing we're really missing, but that's not Adaball's problem. That's my problem if I want to use it for 3-Gun. Um, so I'll go ahead and probably just get one of those little levers made uh, just to make it a little quicker. Um, but yeah, other than that, folks, I think we've got ourselves one hell of an optic at one hell of a price. Uh, for under $600, you don't get Japanese glass that's this good. I can tell you that much. Nobody else is doing this on the market, so get on their website. Uh, www.adaballsites.com and take a look at this thing if you need a you know a one to four variable power for for fun for plinking for competition shooting three gun you know home defense whatever you want I mean this scope should be able to do it all it's very very versatile and I plan on showing you just how versatile it is in these upcoming test and range videos all right everybody thanks for watching my unboxing video here of the brand new at a ball velocity one to four variable power scope um, I've got this bad boy uh, all set ready to go we've got a new home for it it's going to be being mounted into this American defense manufacturing delta mount quick detach 30 millimeter rings so that'll be a perfect fit for it and then uh, yeah other than that we're just going to take it to the range try it out on a few different guns see what kind of results we get and then uh, we'll let you know so We'll see you all in the range. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a good day.